As you were born and brought up in Pune, what other colleges were on your list? How did you get into MIT? Uh, now you are in third year. Yes. So how was your experience? What are you pursuing? I am in MIT and I'm pursuing electronics with specialization in AIML. Okay. I'm in third year currently. What infrastructure your college provides for your course? Oh, so we have a lot of labs in laboratories and they have uh, specialized kits which cost a lot of money and they, they give us they give us full experience to you know work on them. They provide us with microcontrollers so we don't have to pay anything out of our pocket. So it's really helpful. We don't have to spend any extra money. How do you get into MIT? Uh, so basically uh, I gave CET exam and according to the percentile I've gotten into MIT and I'm so glad I did. Okay, how much did you score in CET? Uh, I scored 97 percentile in PCM in MIT for okay. CET. Okay, uh, that's quite high. What did you do to score it? Uh, so I was at SSC board in 12th grade. So that helps a lot because it's all Maharashtra State Board syllabus. And just a lot of practice and I did it from YouTube. So YouTube is very helpful in studying for uh, physics and maths. Chemistry was easy compared, but just a lot of practice over the years. Now you are in third year. Yes. So how was your experience? Um, overall, MIT is really good. It has amazing facilities. It gives you a lot of exposure. And um, the marking scheme is also very lenient because like we have 60% internal and they have, they've given us a lot of free time to work on projects and they don't strain a lot of marks because it's more about exposure. Okay. As a, MIT is a private institute, Dame University, what's your syllabus and exam pattern? Um, so we have 60 out of 100, we have 60 marks for internal assessment that has labs, um, journal submission and projects and 40 marks is our end term. So it gives us a lot of, uh, you know, it gives us a good push to score a good CGPA and our syllabus keeps updating according to what new is in the market and what are the requirements. It adjusts according to that. What are your subjects? Uh, currently, I have, uh, since I'm specializing in AIML, my subjects are AIML. Then I have uh, OT, like that's optimization techniques. Then I have um, Python. So they teach, they focus a lot on coding too in electronics and as well as hardware. Which one was the hardest for you? I think DSA was really hard for me in second year because um, it was something new and it's very, it's, I found it hard, that's why. Okay, what about the crowd? A crowd's really nice. Um, you won't find like the crowd's really well off and um, good people, very friendly, helpful people. Uh, what's your fees annually? Uh, three lakh fifteen thousand, but it's completely valid because the facilities, the infrastructure, everything justifies the fee amount. Okay. What about uh, what other things your college provide other than studies? We have a lot of extracurricular activities like in second year, our college took us to rural immersion where we studied a lot about rural places. And then recently, last month, they took us for a national immersion to Gujarat, Gandhi Nagar, where they gave us a lot of exposure about AIML and automobiles. So it's all justified and they have a lot of extracurricular activities. Do you have to pay anything extra for no, it? No, nothing. It was included in your It was place. all included. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from Pune itself. Okay, so you stay with your family? Yes. Okay, uh, how much package one can expect after completing engineering from MIT? Uh, I would say around 13 to 15 LPA on an average, yes. Okay, uh, what advice do you want to give to the students who have just taken admission into MIT? I feel like you should work hard from your first year because that's what I did and it gave me a great start to my CGPA uh, and it's helped me, you know, uh, you know, keep it, maintain the CGPA since the first year. So don't, you know, explore, join clubs in first year, but also pay attention to your studies. Okay. As you were born and brought up in Pune, what other colleges were on your list? Um, I had PICT on my list. I had COEP on my list and I had JSPM on my list. Okay. So what you felt and how your parents felt when you got MIT? Uh, everyone was very happy because it's convenient for travel as well. And we've heard a lot of stuff about MIT. And I have some friends who've passed out and they've been placed really well. And so I, I had high expectations the front day and my parents were very, very happy. Okay. What about your faculties? Our faculty is very helpful. They will never, uh, they will always be very hands-on and they will always push us to do uh, extra projects, write papers. Uh, that's really nice.